Some events can seem so catastrophic that when they occur, people wonder how they will ever learn to cope with the grief. Sometimes, the only way to cope is through the simple passage of time. Distance, in years from a tragedy, can begin to soothe the horror and other events that occur in the interim steel of our attention. This is the case with the Oklahoma City bombing. The Alfred P. Murav Federal Building was ripped apart by a truck bomb on April 19, 1995. The explosion killed 168 people, including 19 children under the age of 6. This Pulitzer Prize winning photo, taken by Charles H. Porter IV, encapsulates the perfect horror and shock people felt on that day. The look on firefighter Chris Fields' face, as he cradles Bailey Allman, is touching and expresses so much of the emotional hurt caused by the explosion. Bailey later died of her injuries. As we mark the 15th anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing, we can look back and see how time has changed the way we memorialize the attack and the loss of life it caused. In the years immediately after the bombing, people left stuffed toys, letters, and many other personal items on the site of the Murat building as a memorial. On April 19, 2000, the Oklahoma City National Memorial was opened. Services were held at the site of the explosion every year on April 19th at 9.02 a.m., the time of the explosion. People at the memorial and across the country observed 168 seconds of silence, one for every person killed on that day. After September 11th, the way we looked at the Oklahoma City bombing changed. The bombing was no longer the deadliest terrorist attack on American soil. The Oklahoma City bombing is still remembered and mourned, but time and more recent tragedies have lessened the pain we feel when remembering. And that's okay. What we must not do is forget. We should be glad that, while time might not heal all wounds, it does numb them, and we should hope that with the passage of more time, that we may become people who don't need to hurt each other. Most importantly, we must remember the people affected by this or any tragedy. And with images like this one, of a dirty, exhausted man clutching to one tiny human life, how could we forget?